Tunnel Tuesday, March 14th. Got my coffee. Got my excuses. Like jet lag. So we're good to go. Hey, chicken pants. Let's play the French. I don't know why. Oh, wow, the exchange. You know who played this once in a game? Hikaru did. He won a classical game at the Miami Open 2008 against Rainier Gonzalez. And I was very impressed by it because it's objectively a bad move. He played it knowing that. It was when it was like a open event and it was just to try to get winning chances. I, I remember being very impressed by, by that when I was following the event. So that's the only time I've seen somebody play Queen D5 but in classical chess <laughs> against the GM, you know, it's uh Take some balls. And I had to give you guys the standard Hikaru update. Thank you, Octopus, for the five. I mean this is this looks okay, right? I wasn't gonna take here. That's the question though. If I'm not gonna take, if I go a5 and a3, we'll try a5. A3 I'll take and play a4. Probably the refutation to a5 is something else. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Uh, let's go here. I wouldn't be surprised to see something like knight b1 or knight b5. The point is to try to trap this bishop. It's a little more... Surp Am I missing something there? Let's trade this off while we can. Because my I, I don't want to give away the bishop here for free. Okay. Knight here I'll take there, I think. I think that's okay for me. Maybe not. Take. <clears throat> Take. Check. Thought that was a blunder, sir. I have the Zwischenzug. I have three check. After, yeah. I think that's a blunder from uh, Yem. Big blunder. Big blunder. <clears throat> Rook F1, I just pick up the second pawn with tempo. Oh, a quesito. And then uh, let's grab the open file. I don't mind giving two rooks for the queen. I don't think the rook and knight are very good in this position. So. Doesn't trade. Okay. This knight got it. Let's go here. Hitting this. Offer a queen trade. Check.
Yay! Alrighty. One out of one. We got an FM now. <laughs> Dr. Lord, you can do it from your other location. We'll figure it out. Alright, what are we playing? We'll play B3. Round two, here we go. And let me play some... This is Pig and Dan, but let me play some uh, Berlin music. What I was listening to, I had a really good time uh, at a couple places. Let's play, yeah, let's play this one. Uh, some darker stuff. Well, I don't think Formula 1 looks... It's exciting in one aspect, maybe, but if you know who's going to win first, it's not as exciting from that perspective. So, there are definitely some interesting storylines to follow. I don't know theory here. I remember playing against Andraken in Subtitle Tuesday, and he trapped my bishop. He, like, moved his knight back when I had a pawn on c4. <laughs> I played c4, he moved his knight back, and my bishop got stuck. So let's watch out for that. You know. Trezor was easy to get into. I'm playing Trezor music right now. Trezor, I went in. That was easy. Um, but I got in. I went to Zisivos twice. Fantastic. Oof. Key shrips. Thanks for the prime. All right, what are we doing here? Let's talk about the chess. Well, I have to decide how I'm going to challenge the center. Really want to play this at the right moment. Going for this, eh? Let's see. All right, let's do it. It's a very ugly looking move, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I have a problem. I'm addicted to sacking the exchange. I'm not going to do it. I'll withhold for now. Knight g6. Just going to play king h1 and develop the knight. Put some pressure here. At least we have the F-file. Gotta just get those pieces out. If h5, I'll go bishop f3 and play knight e2. Because at least g6 does weaken this diagonal a bit. So it has drawbacks as well. Alright. Getting, getting those pieces out, you know. Sometimes I might have this move also. Wanted to provoke that, huh? Okay. Let's play a4 just to strengthen uh, the knight on c4. Go here. I want to go here next, so I threaten bishop a3. If here, when I go knight e2, then, then this is loose as well. Okay. Let me think about that. Okay, let me try this. I want to take this pawn. I literally want to take it. He defends. With like a6, then I have bishop a3. This is probably a good move. But then I... What? What the heck is that? 
No. No. Let's take. I want this bishop. There's some tactics. I'm calculating. The brain is working. Scrabble, thank you for the raid. That looks like the official Scrabble channel, just called Scrabble. Like, that's a legit looking username. Thank you, Scrabble. Oh, Scrabble. I'm up on time. Holy shit, where did that come from? All right, this is a little scary. Uh... What? What's my opponent doing here? Oh, that's a good looking move. What am I doing? Maybe is the right question. Oops. Am I not up a lot of material though? <sighs> Chess is too hard. The game's not over yet. Oh, now it's over. So, at the very end, the most important thing for me to know is that after this, I can't take here. I take, and there's a perpetual, but I'm up a piece. I don't have to take, I can just make another move, such as bishop f4, and I'm completely winning, or queen g5, something like that. But don't take back. If I took back, then it, I had 30 seconds, he had 5. So, no concerns there, but still. Vasily. Okay, round 3. We'll play the French again, why not? Okay. I'm gonna fuck around today. It's not Friday, it's not fuck around Fridays. I'll, I, I don't know if I'm playing theory or not, but I'm gonna incorporate ideas that I'm familiar with. I used to play the French pretty good actually at it. Like, yeah. Professional level. I mean it I can go rook c8 first I, usually you reroute the knight we'll see okay now we're gonna reroute the knight for sure the question is where do I put this knight white's doing the proper situation I mean they're handling they uh put it, grabbing the space one sec. Thank you, Polar Bear and Mount. All right. I know what he's going to do, and it's not good for me. But the one aspect is by going for this variation, white has loosened up their center pawn. There's no more pawn on d4. So if I survive this excursion, I will be well placed to put pressure on that center pawn.
Really? What was the point of that? To transfer the queen over? Yeah, that's... I want the pawn. I want that juicy, juicy pawn. I want this pawn now. Am I missing something? The problem is this knight doesn't have any squares right now, unless I'm... Yeah. Happy Tuesday. <sighs> I'm not jet lagged because I went to bed at like noon every day in Berlin, which is 6 a.m. over here. So normally you're jet lagged when you fly back, but not me. I mean, he wants to sack the exchange. Unlock. Holy shit. I didn't see that. Sorry. What? What? What am I missing here? completely winning it just depends how i want to go about this knight takes queen takes king up queen takes um knight d3 queen check I was gonna go here. I'm pretty sure that works. I think I calculated this to the end. We'll find out. But I'm feeling sharp, so I'm gonna play provocatively. So, I think I have the back rank tactics working. I'm playing Hikaru. Alrighty, alrighty. This is what the people wanted. It's what people wanted. I feel like I've played this from the white side, but not the black side. 
Might be a little tricky. There should be six next. Hikaru plays the the English stuff pretty well for the most part. That's looks like a surprising move to me. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in there right away. Put another knight on d4. <clears throat> Rook here, knight here has to be calculated. Probably have to go here. Just to take this option away. Well, this is going to get double-edged. I have a protected pass spawn. Hikaru has some kingside majority options. I want to play b5 if I can. I need to try to use the spawn and, and get something going. Okay, out. <clears throat> this is very double-edged from Hikaru. Objectively, I feel like I'm supposed to take on F5 here and use the file, but I'm a bit of a chicken. I gotta speed up. Position feels good, but it's always hard to say.
I want to push or push. I can't believe I messed that up, dude. I was completely winning that, I thought, but maybe not. Then he was... For two cards, would draw. He likes playing with me, I guess. Getting some uh, alone time with Hickey. Or, okay, we'll play it out. Oh, you want to get 100 moves? I got it. I played a hundred moves against Hikaru. I think he's just trying to give me a YouTube title. I offered a draw. We made it to a hundred. He's declined two draws already. That's three times. Three declined draws. I haven't been rejected that much in a while. Not since Berlin. <laughs> what? I, I mean, he can be angry, but he was in trouble most of the game. I don't even understand. It wasn't like he was winning this game. <laughs> I was, I was, I was like much better for for most of it. Okay. All right, buddy. <laughs> I have to make sure I don't mouse slip. My hands are definitely sweaty because I'm extremely clumsy. dance a bit more since he likes dancing with me there we go we don't have the best stream ethics here you know playing a rook first rook end game for 140 moves but uh i think i just won the hikaru nakamura sportsmanship award so i think that's a good reason to uh sub to the channel Den Laz is very strong. It's 
What happens if I go here? Can I do this? I want to just try something new. That's what they do in Germany too. That's why I went to some of those clubs. Queen one this is a weird position. It's like uh, C5 makes a lot of sense. This is a reverse Dutch. I have to be a little careful that my pieces don't get stuck somehow. Like, did I just make a mistake? <laughs> Shit. No. You can go rook g8, then I'm gonna go g7. Okay. This isn't the end of the world, but all the time I spent on the king side didn't re really lead to anything. Which is not ideal. Like I invested time pushing the pawns, then I traded off, so I didn't really benefit. I wouldn't be surprised to see knight b4 at the right moment. Then I should probably go here, huh? Is he gonna sack the exchange in that position? Let's see what happens. I have a couple ideas as well. That's a blunder by me. Ah, oh, no, it's, yeah, it's a blunder. It's a blunder. I miscalculated. There's King G7. I did not see that. Oh, shit. I thought I was being cheeky, but it's actually just a total mistake. I miscounted. That was really bad. The two pieces just dominated. I mean, yeah, it just wasn't what I signed up for. I'll try to fight on. I wish there was a mating net here, but my pieces are so poorly placed.
This could be a painful death for me. I'll try to fight on, I mean... Still chances he blunders, but... It's not looking great. If I didn't trade, the knight goes to e5, and I'm not in a good position either. to do here. That was a bad just miscalculation. Let's get back on the win column. It's not the end of the world to lose to Den Laz, but have to uh, have to recover now. Change the music in a moment. is a must win game must win just changing the music up as well hope you don't mind theory Iranian theory coming for me. A pawn is a pawn, but I don't mind if he wins it back. Tuck the bishop in. This is this is new territory. I can't say that I fully mind it. He definitely wants to go for something there. Bishop G4. It's kind of annoying. Bishops are, 
are killer right now. I might castle Kingside. I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna castle Kingside and and uh, use this bishop as a as a pawn, as a as a strong pawn. How's that? Because if I was casting Queenside, there was too many of these Bishop G4 uh, skewer ideas. Way too many. Gonna have to work. I have to catch up on the clock now and uh, stabilize. At least White's Kingside is also pretty messed up. Rooks in the middle. Oh, this is good now. A lot of weak pawns. And I'm threatening that. I think it's good. Don't quote me yet. Rook here, I can continue eating. Music's getting better too. There we go. We're gotta go on another up, upswing. Now this knight's kind of dominated by my uh, bishop. Yeah, that's a good move. Whoa, Eric.
go we're good we take those we take those let's go mr henry thank you for subbing ditman okay here we go four and a half out of eight that's not my score oh six i misread that give me a couple rounds to lose first big dit thank you thank you thank you all right let's castle I'm going to play a real uh, passive opening, but it might work out. Flanking. Using using some pawn flank energy. Hey Murdoch, how you doing? Hey Eddie. Is medieval times like a chain do they have that in the u.s as well because if my tournament crashes i'm getting high and before i go to medieval times i'm not going through that sober i'll put it that way i refuse do i go d4 here take 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 it's kind of tempting I'll hold off for now. Hello, motorboater. I want this bishop and I want it now. Give me the bishop pair, sir. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. And now let's open her up. That's a good song, Chewy Booters. D4 next. Let's open up. He's thinking. He knows the bishops are coming. Whoa! What is that? That is not a move, as Mr. Canny would say. <laughs> that is a promiscuous queen. And uh, I hate to say it, but she's gonna get fucked if she hangs around uh, my my pieces. I I do not know what this queen is doing. This is I was born in the you know early 90s. These days, people do everything. I'm I'm conservative with my ladies, as you can you see the difference here. I mean, this is this is just unacceptable. Unacceptable. Jeez Louise. All right. I see some light squares. We have to chase the lady. We're going to we're going to figure out a way to trap the lady somehow. That's surprising. Let me go here. I've stopped calculating. I just assume that the position will play itself when things open up. I mean, there's a lot of options here. Let's go with the most straightforward. If D3, please give up your best piece. Please. I'm begging you. Begging you, la la la. Good song. I could play that on, but we need some techno. The chess will speak for itself. The bishop pair 
will be strong. Hopefully. I like the way he's playing, actually. In terms of putting up resistance. He didn't go for the material, and I think that's correct. But my bishops are still here. And that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay. We're gonna have some fun. I am feeling very frisky right now. We're gonna have some fun with this position, I think. I'm gonna go for something very provocative, but. Oh, never mind. I was worried for a moment. He didn't he didn't bite. <laughs> he did not bite. Getting uh, a little too close for comfort. Let's run with the king. Run, king, run. Yes. All is good. Hello, Savan. That got a little, little too close for comfort, but. Uh, the endgame skills are good today. Today we're playing some good endgames for once. The, the, the king is getting active. You know the dad bod shuffle. It's it's because I just came from Berlin. I was definitely moving the body a lot. Very agile. We got Dubov. Man, this tournament is getting strong. I've played three guys that are like over 3k. All right. Danny Dubes. Let's focus. Drawing a blank. Is this the line where people go Queen B8? Yeah, it is. It is.
This is sharp. Already sharp. Yeah, I just don't know where to attack. Where's the point of attack in this position? Anybody see? I need to uh, play faster. Eric. I'm gonna have a worse end game here if I'm not careful. Yeah. Down a minute and I just don't know how to how to attack. I've definitely misplayed the the structure. Entertaining some ideas of softening up the position.
Oh, my time. Holy shit. Dude. wasn't looking at the clock oh shit it's unfortunate What am I doing, dude? We have Serana here, the brand new European champion. Very strong player. He's just won yesterday, I believe, the European Championships. For me? I'm just in a game right now. Can we wait till after? Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, no, in 15 minutes we okay. can. Here. I'm playing this setup. It's kind of easy to play, but I'm not exactly sure it's the right choice against Serana. White's gonna get they're gonna get to play d4 at some point. And it's not always clear that this bishop is good. Sometimes you just take, and my bishop's just biting on a hard pawn. Let me take. See what happens. You like the techno? Happy to hear. This is a techno friendly channel.
He still went for it. Um, here, here. Wow. Go here. Did I mess up? I think I did. What am I doing with my knight there? That was a bad idea. That was an outrageously bad idea.
The worst position to be in when in time trouble. He's really good at posing problems here. I have too many pieces tied up. In this game. Feels worse than should be. It's a lucky score, 6 out of 9, but I thought I was playing better than that. Sorry, let me put on my, my music for the final, final game. Well, that can't be theory. I just have the bishop pair now. I think. The bishop will drop back here. I'm not going to touch this pawn. I'm just going to argue that this bishop is going to struggle a bit. So let's just move that bishop out of the way. I'm going to expand everywhere else, but I don't want to touch this so much. I want that bishop to kind of struggle a bit. Whoa. That's definitely a funky looking move. Let's keep pushing. Just gonna soften up the king. I have two bishops, I think I should be pretty happy. Gonna get up on the clock if I can. Gonna... I have f4 as a lever at the right moment. I'm just trying to make sure this bishop doesn't get strong. My bishop hopefully has some long-term retention on this diagonal. That's Those are the kind of moves that you want to see. I mean, that looks like it almost loses by force, this move. I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm going for the kill. gonna attack the light squares. Okay, he's he's wiggling, but I don't believe there should be salvation.
I believe this should lead to checkmate, but we'll find out. My intuition says he's getting mated. Gonna put my bishop here and uh, get, and my king always has h3 as a hideout. I get mated, I get mated. But if you can't run the king, because I have rookie one pinning the king to the queen in the end. No, that doesn't work. Um, do I want that or do I want more? Eh. Well, I want more. I want more! Yes, please. Am I going to get a pawn check, mate? Nice. Nice. Good stuff. It's going to work well in Silicon Valley. The tech bros will like it. We got Dania here. There we go. Lots of, lots of big pairings today. I'm just trying to, trying to relax. Let me go Knight C3. Play the London system. What's the theory here? Pontix? Can I take with this knight? A3. Hi, this is high T chess. No, I don't normally play like this. It's probably because... Yeah. I'm just nervous. Big crowd today. Lots of Hikaru viewers here, so... We have to be on our best behavior. Car viewers, eh? <clears throat> All right, we're here for a good time. It's the final game. Neither Daniel or myself have a chance for a prize, so I hope I'm not out of line to uh, play for the audience. I think we'll both enjoy this. I have a three pawns for the night. I think I think this is, the viewers will prefer this kind of chess than us just moving back and forth. Pushing the pawns. Three pawns for a night. Four pawns.
Alphonse. Alrighty. Five pawns is a good amount. Let's move the king up. I want six pawns. Oh, that doesn't work, eh? All right. I have a lot of pawns right now. I am getting a bit, uh, a bit beefy. We have to start pushing those pawns. Gotta start pushing. Good game, Dania. Just got a little too many pawns. Too many pawns. 17th. Oh, wait. 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 I tied for 10th. I'm in the group photo. Let me refresh this. I'm pretty sure I'm in the group photo for, for top 10. Wait. Yes. Yes, I made it to the top 10. Jordan's in there, Pranav, good company, Yospam. Snu snuck into the group. Shared 10th. Shared 10th. 10th to 20th, I'm in there. I don't know why my tie breaks are low. I, I'm for sure played some tough guys. Where, wait, where's Hikaru? Did Hikaru mess up my tie breaks? Is that why my tie breaks are shit? Hickey... Think he fucked up? Oh. You can never win against Hikaru. If you beat him, he withdraws. If you draw him, it hurts your tie breaks. And then when he does well, he gets the best tie breaks.